You've been asking for it, and here it is, my updated list of amenities for 2023. Join me as I count down the year's hottest things that you should be providing for your guests in 2023. Welcome to another episode of Airbnb Uncovered. I'm Matt, the creator of Airbnb Uncovered and an Airbnb trainer and coach. On this channel, I uncover all of the insider host strategies so that you can earn more, get a fully booked calendar, and grow your Airbnb business to mind-blowing levels. There's no fluff here, just real advice that actually works for me, a 48-time super host who's hosted over 3,500 guests and earned millions on Airbnb. I've coached and trained over 600 hosts to earn more from their business, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can become a more profitable host too. And join the conversation over in my Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Airbnb Uncovered. The world of Airbnb, it's constantly changing. Guest needs evolve, and especially when hosts around the world step up their game, it just means that we have to step up our game even further. And there is no place in your business that requires this more than in the amenities that you provide for your guests. As a point of clarification here, let me just explain that amenities can mean a few different things. It can mean things like a fire pit, a hot tub, a pool table, but it can also refer to things like a welcome basket, toiletries, bedside lamps, etc. In this video, I'm going to focus on the latter, the smaller items that anyone can buy and have in their Airbnb to delight their guests. Now, this list isn't exhaustive. It's my updated list for 2023. I've done a couple other videos on amenities, and you can watch them by clicking on the little I in the upper right hand corner now. So let's start the countdown, shall we? Coming in at number six is comforts of home. And in this category, I'm gonna include a few must have things that are quick and easy to explain and procure. When guests are choosing Airbnb, they do so because they don't want a hotel experience. Instead, they wanna feel more like they're at home. To achieve this, we need to stock our Airbnbs as such. Many of you already have lots of this basic stuff like toiletries, um, well-stocked kitchens, etc. But I want to share some often overlooked items. And let's start with weather-related stuff. I keep an umbrella and sunscreen for my guests. Umbrellas are bulky and heavy and so they're hard to pack. Sunscreen can be tough because it's a liquid and you can't always bring it on the plane in your carry-on. Both are relatively cheap and your guests will appreciate these two items. Let's move to the kitchen. Many guests are now health conscious and drink smoothies. So providing a blender can make them feel more at home by allowing them to continue with their normal routines. And I'm just gonna throw this one out here because it doesn't fit, but luggage racks, especially if you host short stays. Many guests, they don't wanna fully unpack and if they're just staying a night or two, and constantly having to reach down to the floor to get their clothes, well, it's hard on your back and it's kind of annoying. Also, ask yourself if you have ever checked into a hotel room that didn't have a luggage rack? I'm sure the answer is no. But believe it or not, there are countless inexpensive luggage racks on Amazon. And finally, in this comforts of home category, many guests choose Airbnb because, well, they can do their laundry. But you see, laundry detergent isn't really sold in small quantities. So I always leave the laundry detergent and bounce sheets that my cleaning team uses to do our laundry for my guests. If you wanna know how to get your guests to stop cleaning you out from your laundry detergent and the other freebies you provide, tune into next week's video where I'll explain how to stop guests from stealing or cleaning you out of all of your amenities and freebies. Number five is technology items. As the world of tech advances, so do our guests' needs. And depending on the quality and price of your Airbnb, your guests may be quite accustomed to the latest tech because they can afford it and they have it in their homes. Universal phone chargers are a must these days, but let's go ahead and take it a step further and go with wireless chargers. 
because now it's not just phones that need charging, it's earbuds and watches, and most of these devices all charge wirelessly. The next thing is a good Bluetooth speaker. Now you may be jumping and thinking, hey, I can do way better than that. I'll do a full sound system. And that may not be the best idea. We do not want massive sound systems in our home that are going to annoy and disrupt our neighbors. But a good Bluetooth speaker that connects reliably is a must these days. Some hosts are going so far as buying Amazon Alexas or Google Home devices, which you can totally do. As many people and many of our guests are used to asking Alexa or Hey Google for the weather, to set a timer, or just to play music. Just be sure to disable the purchase function or create an Airbnb account for both of these devices. A few minutes ago, I spoke about the comforts of home, and one big one for our guests is to be able to stream their favorite shows. So these days, a smart TV is now a must. But before you go rushing out to buy a new TV, if you have an older model, you can just buy an Apple TV, an Amazon Fire Stick, or an NVIDIA streaming device and connect it to your older TV to enable streaming services. If you do go down this route though, I recommend you create a small instruction card on how to use this. I've included an example in my signage package that you can download at the link below on screen right now and in the description. Regardless of the type of TV that you have, I always recommend leaving an extra HDMI cable hanging down. See, some guests want to connect their laptops to the TV and other guests actually travel with their gaming consoles. And speaking of gaming consoles, if you really, really want to get fancy, you could include one in your Airbnb. I'm sure your gamer guests would love it. The fourth Top amenity for 2023 is a self check-in with a smart lock. Now this may be one more for you as a host, but guests still like it. You see, the thing is, is that travel plans change and I'd say about 98% of the time, these travel itinerary changes mean your guest is gonna be late. And if you're doing in-person check-ins, it means that you're waiting around and it can be for a long time, trust me. On the guest side, guests often though they feel guilty since they know you've had to wait. At least 90% of them do anyway. So do yourself a favor, move to self check-in, and since it's 2023, I'd say it's time to do away with these lock boxes. Lock boxes tucked away someplace hidden doesn't give your guests a great start to their stay if they have to look around in the dark behind some bushes to find the key to your home. There are countless smart lock options out there and ideally the one you choose can connect to the internet and allow you to change the code for each guest. And if you think you're ever gonna automate your Airbnb business, like the hundreds of students in my programs have already, then double check that your smart lock is compatible with the leading Airbnb property management systems, like HostAway, which is my preferred supplier, and Guesty is another example of a property management system. You can leave your old lockbox up if you want because it's a great backup in case something happens to your smart lock like the batteries die or there's an internet outage. By the way though, this does not mean that you don't have to meet your guests anymore. It just means that you have the choice, you have the flexibility and you can accommodate guests if they are arriving super late or if they just prefer to self check in as their option. Same goes for the checkout too. If a guest wants to be able to leave early in the morning, doing self-check-in and self-check-out allows them to come and go on their schedule. Coming in at number three is a home workspace. And ideally, it is not the kitchen table. Guests now have more flexibility from where they can work, and that means that many of them can travel more freely now. With that freedom comes the need to have a legitimate workspace where they can take Zoom calls and get real work done. To this end, you should invest in a simple desk and an ergonomic chair, at a minimum. Ideally, you have an external monitor and a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to create the perfect home office. The price of external monitors has dropped considerably and will be likely way worth your investment because to be honest, 
I don't see a lot of listings that include this kind of home office setup. I actually once had a guest years ago that had her external monitor shipped to my Airbnb for her month long stay. And then since then I've had other guests buy or borrow external monitors for their home office setup. Bluetooth keyboards and mice are now super cheap on Amazon and they're really good quality. Now I don't think you need a printer, but the price of those has dropped considerably as well. And if you want to get really fancy, you could also buy a ring light or small and reasonably priced LED light for your Zoom meeting guests. Before I finish off with this one though, please provide your guests with a few pens, stock a bunch because they're going to go missing, and a pad of paper. It is so annoying when you're traveling and you just want to jot something down real quick, but you can't find a pen or a piece of paper. Number two is pet amenities. The pandemic saw record numbers of people welcoming pets to their families. Now many of them want to bring their four-legged friends along with them when they're traveling. And no, it's not just dogs. I've hosted quite a few cats over the years as well. I know the debate rages over whether or not hosting pets is a good idea, but Airbnb does say that pet-friendly accommodation is a top search on the site. Now I did a video on hosting pets and you can watch it by clicking on the little I in the upper right hand corner now. So if you do want to host pets, then be sure your place is welcoming to them. Perhaps you're going to include a dog bed, some kitty litter, um, maybe some treats, a couple bowls for food and water, a rope to tie them up in the backyard. And you're also going to want to include two very important things if you are hosting pets. The first is to have some poop bags available so that you can gently nudge your guests to pick up after their pets. And the second is to include specific rules about pets in your house rules. Now we've just updated our most comprehensive list of house rules and you can download that list at the web address on screen right now and it's also linked in the description. And the number one amenity for your Airbnb is kid-friendly items. Regardless of the size of your Airbnb, there is a possibility that kids could be staying in your place. For you one-bedroomers and studio house out there, you could get a couple with an infant or maybe a parent and a child traveling. I think at a bare minimum, you should consider including a pack-and-play crib. As all parents out there will know, lugging one of those things around is a real pain, especially when you're flying. It's not a bad idea to include one of those small high chairs that attaches to the kitchen table. Kid-friendly dishes are easy and cheap to grab, and for your furniture's sake, pick up a sippy cup. To be honest, hosting infants really isn't that much extra work for the cleaning team. Now, toddlers on the other hand, uh, that's a different story. But as we move up the age ladder, you may want to consider having baby gates for stairs in your home. In one of the places I co-host, I'd say about 65% of guests wanted the baby gates installed for their stay. And it's never a bad idea to have the odd game for kids too. Once again, Amazon is your friend in this regard. I know it's been high time for me to update this list. I believe the last video I did on amenities was way back in 2021. Of course, you don't have to include everything on the list, but the more you can, the more your guests are going to enjoy their stay. Now, we go pretty deep on physical setup and guest experience in my programs, as well as how you can use automation to simplify your life and business. If that's something you'd like to learn more about, then hit me up in my Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Airbnb Uncovered. A giant thank you for watching all the way to the end. If I've informed you, then please give this video a thumbs up. If I didn't, then just keep your comments to yourself. Just kidding. There's a thumbs down option as well. I've got tons of other videos about nearly every aspect of hosting, so be sure to check them out if you haven't already. And if you're not subscribed, do it right now. Click on the notification bell so that you get alerted when I post a new video. If you have a specific hosting question, or maybe you want to know what other stellar hosts are doing to make more money from their Airbnb businesses,
then join my Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Airbnb Uncovered. That's it. So until next time, bye for now.